Good morning. We are back on the porch. Bo loves it out here. I mean, he will wake up and go straight to the door and like ask to come outside. He just loves sitting outside. It's really sweet. He's also telling me that he's tired. When he gets tired, he starts saying night, 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 night. So he's probably going to take an early nap. And yeah, so we're just going to be outside. Cora's going to get, gather eggs for me today. Then he's home. He had a little tummy ache, but I think he's feeling a little bit better. And let's see, today, what else do we have? We have a few dentist appointments, and Liam's got football practice. What are you doing, Bubba? Oh, goodness. Stuff like that. You want to get down? And uh, that's, that's all that's going on here today. So I'm probably going to organize a few things. And share some of those fun organization tips that I'm looking forward to share. So hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Do you hear a train? You hear the birds? You wanna go night night? Mm -hmm. You wanna go night night? You sleepy boy. Night night. Night night. Do you wanna go night night? Sweet baby, can you give the sweet baby hugs? Can you give the sweet baby hugs. No, no, no. You give sweet little baby hugs. Night, night. Oh, night, night. Cora came back from gathering eggs with these. Where did you find those, honey? Were they underneath the mama? Or yeah. were, no? No, the mama does in their thing. Things. Were they in the incubator? Yeah. We need to go put them back, okay? What was it? Because they need to stay warm in the incubator. Okay, we're going to go put those back. I was surprised when you came back with chicks instead of eggs, though. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Sugar Okay, so today in my post, in my reel, I talked about pantry organization. And so I want to give you like a little tour of our pantry. It has been more organized and less organized than this, but I'm just going to show you it kind of as it is and kind of tell you things that help with organizing food and just kind of um, keeping things 
kind of orderly. So one thing I've noticed is that when I'm organized in our pantry, that it actually helps me whenever I go to order groceries because I can easily see what we have, what we need, and not order duplicates of things that we already have. It also helps because then I can see, um, you know, expiration dates and I just, it's just easier to assess what we need and kind of just keep inventory. And so some people think that these like little containers are just here to look cute. And yes, they do look cute. And of course, I love having things that look organized and but another reason I love containers is just that everything stays fresh in the containers and it's easy to see what we are getting low on or what we have a lot of. So there we go. Anyway, it's just fun to have containers to look cute, but also keep you better organized. I have a ton of flour because I've been baking a lot, making a lot of bread. So I don't put all of my flour in my container because I just use a lot of it. But um, that's one reason I love just containers. And then I have these bins here for for things that can just be thrown in there, um, not, not necessarily organized like potatoes or popcorn, even pancake mix. And of course, this would look different for every person's situation in their pantry. But one thing that helps me um, with pantry organization or just organizing in general is just to start with the space you have. Like this pantry is as big a pantry as I've ever had, but in previous houses, I didn't have this much space. So I started with the small space that I had and then decided what I needed from there. And, you know, thinking of things like, you know, that you use a lot. So like we use a lot of soups and a lot of canned goods. And so I got a lot of organizers for canned goods so that I could easily see what we have, what we need more of, what we don't need. And, um, then I just grouped things into like categories. Like I would put everything together. That's an oil and vinegar or breadcrumbs or, um, you know, baking items. And then you can just label it from there. So it's, it's really fun to organize, but it is definitely a skill that some people have and some people just need, but it can be taught. And, um, I love teaching people how to organize. It's rewarding for me and it's rewarding for them. Um, the first thing is just simply to assess your space and decide how you want to best use it. And then just get some containers that help you um, keep everything, you know, just sealed up. And then you can label them if you want to, um, just so you can kind of see what you have and what you need. And, uh, yeah. I love organizing. It's just a lot of fun for me. I could just come in here and just organize and then do it better and better and better. And it just, um, it's just a fun kind of relaxing thing for me actually to organize. And then down here is where I keep like crock pots. This is like extra food down here. And then like just different appliances that we use. So right now I'm sitting underneath our island. This is where we store a lot of things like Tupperware and lunch boxes. And every once in a while I come through here and just like reorganize the cabinets. And so right now I'm going to open up our cup cabinet. We have lots of cups. They tend to accumulate and multiply, but I'm going to reorganize this cabinet and show you how I do that. Okay, so this cabinet is organized and this did not take very long at all. I love this kind of project. But one thing that I do every time I organize anything, whether it's a cabinet or just 
clothes or anything is I take everything out of the area first and then I look at the space and say see if I need to change anything and in this case I noticed that things were falling over and the top shelf was not really being used and so I changed the space by moving that top shelf down and I just kind of layered it right there I also could have just set it on the bottom but I just decided to do that and then I just put everything back and whenever I put everything back I try to put like items together and that sounds so basic but that's key when you're organizing so I put like items together and actually if I were being strict on my organization here I would say only to do single layer like don't do double layer just do one layer across but since we do have nine kids and they I decided to do you know two or even three layers deep on these um, cups because they do use it and because they do fit but if something is overflowing a cabinet, like if, if you can't even shut the drawer or close the cabinet, then it's time to downsize because I always say let the space decide how many items you can keep. And, um, you know, in this case, I had enough space for all this. But if I didn't have this much space, I couldn't keep this many cups because I always start with the amount of space that you have. And... Um, then the items that are broken or not used or mismatched, I always say, like, don't overthink it. Just throw them away. Or if it's something that you're not using but somebody else could use, then donate it. But um, in my case, I found a lot of items that were just mismatched, and so I just threw those away. And now we are left with the cups that we use, and it looks nice, and it's more functional this way. So up until now, I haven't done really any childproofing for Bo because I've just kind of trained him to exist in the house and that's all been fine. But he is incredibly fast. And so if I'm homeschooling Cora, he will run around this corner and just in a second, he'll either be in the bathroom if we forget to close the door or he will be on the stairs. And so to protect him, I got this gate. And this gate is called the magic gate on um, Amazon I'll link it of course but one thing I do like about this gate is that it doesn't leave holes in the walls so it just sticks on with these 3m hooks and so yeah this side right here I went ahead and used like a ponytail holder <laughs> to extend it because the length was just like barely too short but I think this is gonna help keep both safe and and I think can you say dada 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 can you say dada name dada 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 dada